around the world, man's attempts to measure the passage of time are fading away. When the power went out, electric clocks went dark forever. The batteries in some wristwatches may last for three years or more, but they too will stop. But what about a clock that won't stop? At least, not for 10,000 years. The idea for the 10,000-year clock was developed by Danny Hillis, who is one of the people behind the development of the modern computer. To create a clock that will keep accurate time for 10,000 years, Hillis designed a 60-foot tall machine made of corrosion-resistant titanium and stainless steel. The sun will keep the mechanical clock accurate. At noon, solar heat focused through a lens makes a strip of tungsten buckle. And this motion resets the clock to exactly noon. To guarantee precise measurement of time over 100 centuries, the clock uses a sophisticated system of levers and pins that perform binary calculations. So the 10,000-year clock is essentially the world's slowest computer, but there's nothing electronic in it. It's all mechanical. One hundred fifty years after people, time has run out prematurely for the 10,000-year clock. How could this happen? Because the real 10,000-year clock was never completed. Right now, there is just one prototype of the 10,000-year clock. The nine-foot-tall prototype was put on display at the Science Museum in London as the year 1999 changed to 2000. But humans had to wind the prototype every few months. It stopped dead in the first year after people, and now lies in pieces as the stone structure around it has collapsed. Had the real 10,000-year clock been completed before mankind vanished, it would have been installed in a unique home a hollowed-out limestone mountain in Nevada, 10,000 feet up and miles from civilization, where the sun would reset the clock by shining through a four-square-foot window made of sapphire. The purpose of the clock was not to tell people the time, but to get them to think about humanity's future, a future that never happened. <laughs>